teacher, Christina, and I am one of the tutors here on Campu. Today, you will be learning about the future continuous tense, also known as the future progressive tense. What is the future continuous tense? It is a verb tense used when you want to talk about something that will occur in the future and continue to occur in the future for an expected amount of time. It is formed using the construction will plus be plus the present participle. The present participle is the root verb with the ing ending like jumping. Here are some ways we use the future continuous tense. One way is when we want to talk about an ongoing action that will happen in the future. In order to explain that the action will take place in the future, we need to use the words will be. For example, I will be staying there for three weeks. We will be meeting with friends this evening. Sarah will be running in a marathon this Saturday. We can also use the word will as a contraction. So, I will be staying there for three weeks becomes I'll be staying there for three weeks. Note that the action didn't happen all at once in an instant. It took place over a period of time. That's why we say it's a continuous action. Another way to use a future continuous tense is to say that more than one event will be happening at the same time. For example, I will be working when you arrive. When the bell rings, we will be dancing in the streets. In these examples, there is an action that takes place while another ongoing action is taking place. Notice that one action is in the future continuous tense and the other action is in the present tense because it is not continuous. If we want to form a negative sentence, we need to add the word not between will and B. I will not be studying tomorrow, or as a contraction, I won't be studying tomorrow. I will be singing, I will not be singing in the choir, or I won't be singing in the choir. To form a question, we only need to change the first and second words of a non question sentence. So, he will becomes will he. For example, will he be playing in the game tonight? Will you be visiting lots of museums? And to answer, we say, yes, he will, or yes, I will, or no, he won't, or no, I won't. Here's another example. Where will you be waiting? To answer, we say, I will be waiting in the car. Something very important to remember is that the future continuous tense is only used with action verbs because it is possible for, to do them for a period of time, like running, thinking, and seeing. Non-action verbs that we call stative verbs describe states of existence like being, seeming, knowing, and cannot be used to form the future continuous tense. We don't say, I will not be knowing all the answers. Now that you understand the future continuous tense and the future progressive tense, you can start practicing using them in your conversations. For those of you who are unfamiliar familiar with Cambly, Cambly gives you instant access to friendly native English speakers like me. 
You can start taking English lessons anywhere, anytime, right from your phone or computer. Schedule your next lesson with me using the link below. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.